Hey there game makers, I got a good one for you, which is well, the text renderer called Scribble and it does what you see in front of you, basically taking text, wrapping around a box, um, it, it can actually do more, something like this, and of course, as you can see, it can do some typewriting or you know highlighting and making some effects on the text, so this is beautiful and it does that out of the box with just a few commands internally as a string so if you want to join me on this small little journey uh how to do the text box the text up bubble whatever you want to call that then stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing then why not consider sharing liking and subscribing to the channel well of course so before we starting we need to have well scribble which is which you just type in scribble juju adams i don't know in your browser and then you got the github repository and then you just download the yy mps and then you just imported it uh well you can well do something like this you can do something like this and then just like import this whole thing like blah 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 import all and then you just say yes yes and import all and then well you got the new folder in here and boom it works out of the box which is the beauty just for a um, quick explanation, this video will be three parts. So the first part is just basically wrapping around the text, which is kind of cool. Then text formatting, which is uh, doing some cool effects or delays or different color to the text. So basically this is quite powerful. You can just stick those commands together and it does all the stuff for you. And the last part is the typewriter, which is in quotations, a little bit more complex. But uh, you can get around that pretty quickly. Just for explanation, so Scribble is kind of its own system. And how does it work? Well, basically, you just type in Scribble. Uh, come on. Let's do it like this. And then say draw. And then draw wherever you want to draw it. Uh, let's say X, Y. What is this? Well, um, just imagine you have this neat little text box. Just drag it into the screen or you just, you know, create it during a runtime, something like this. And then uh, well, you align it to your camera or wherever. So basically it's floating uh, correctly and then you draw it yourself and then you scribble something. Scribble is just basically, you can just have some text like this. No, uh, no, 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 no. A little bit too fast, my bad. Uh, let's delete that part so basically we're just drawing some text here yeah not so important but how do we do this that that thing is actually wrapping around and then just you know line breaking to the next one so it's not going out of here this is kind of easy you have an inbuilt function which is called wrap and then you need the maximum width and the maximum height of the box and the last one you can just forget just false and then as you can see you can just stick these things together so how do we get the width well kind of easy so i can just store it into a variable but of course you can do it whatever you like and let's say sprite get width of our dialog box it's pretty small 16 by 16 and then times the image x scale why that because well we stretched it so the image x scale is not one it's like 20 or whatever and then um, you do the same for the height image uh, sprite get height of this specific box and then times the scale and maybe with some buffering so minus 30 or something like this so you don't go overboard and yeah so for example once we start it it does work but of course you say like uh proof prove it <laughs> some more text and here we go so let's uh, try it again with this nonsensical non text as you can see it's nicely wrapping around here yay uh, scribble for the win once again i do love the system i use it in all my uh, projects so here highly recommended so here this is the first part of the wrapping then the second part is you can actually stylize and format your text and there is not too much to it to be honest because most of the time you just use scaling so how big you want to scale your drawings what kind of alignment you're having so if it's aligned to the left to the right or to the center most of the time to the left or to the center and then mm, some colors so for example you can input c red or whatever 
or your own color or for example you can have some extra shenanigans this is just for scribble so this is not native to game maker so once you import that it does work of course then for scribble so what you do is you create a long string of uh, text so for example this is your text piece so let's get rid of that part let's get rid of all the annotations and all that stuff so let's say you imagine you have a text like this so hey blah blah blah, blah shown this what scribble is great for you can just you know string together on co or it's actually called con con concatenation something is some a word we see my bad uh, i cannot uh, correctly spell it out um you have prefixes and suffixes so basically this is the first part you say like hey i want to use a specific font so let's say you create a font like this um, do we want to use this one Candala. let's use this one I don't know, 20 something like this and then it will uh, take this font and use it and then fa left which is the default one and then scale of one and then for example what we can do is just have an array text array and our text array of zero so let's type this one in i'll put this one in because this definitely looks nice and then you can just swap it out uh, and then uh, it does work so as you can see looks a little bit out of the, <laughs> the ordinary because the alignment is terrible as you can see we already start styling it which is great so let's say you wanted to have it bigger so you have a number two or 0 0.5 because it was too big then maybe you want to additionally style it so let's say hmm, maybe you want to have i don't know a specific effect so for example here this is these are effects which are inbuilt into well once again into Juju's uh, thing. So for example, if you just go into read documentation, then you will end up here. And there are tons of things. Most of them you won't be using anyway. But I guess the most important one is color, which you input. Then uh, what is it? What is the next one? Then the alignment, so positioning here. This is kind of important. And then the rest is just, you know, effects of wave, shake, wobble, pulse. And we can actually play around that. So let's say we want to have a shake. So we just input that. So once again, as you can see, those commands and those brackets, and they are get, getting read out. And then just saying, oh, this is, is this a scribble command? Yes. Then let's do it. And of course, you need to close that thing. And then, for example, once we start it, yay, first effect, shake it. Or, for example, you want to uh, use a different color. So, C, let's go with a lime and then end it because if you don't do it, everything else will be formatted also in C lime. And as you can see, boom. So, you can just play around with the scale, with the color, with the text. If you, you, you can have even different texts being uh, drawn together. So, this is pretty flexible, pretty beautiful. So, this is how the formatting works so that was the second part i know i'm rushing it but let's say you say like mm, but i like actually that my text is not instantly displayed i like it to be shown in like a typewriter so it's basically just typing one glyph and then two three four five and so on so until well the whole text is being displayed for that we have scribble typist that we store into a variable i guess typist is i guess the easiest one and then we give it a command typist and then dot in this is just saying like hey how fast you want to um, display all the glyphs and how smooth they should fade in if you have zero then nothing will be uh, well it starts at zero and it will stay at zero because well the speed of zero is kind of slow so it's zero so nothing is happening and at the very beginning well um, you will have no text so for example once we start this one it will still display the whole one because we need to say like hey we want to have it as a typist so here input this uh, typist there and then it should display well no text at all as you can see and then we can have a small little alarm just for a little delay so so it looks actually nicer let's say 50 and then we just say type is in and then as, as you can see here different values so 0 0.8 as the speed how fast we are draw, uh, drawing the glyph 
so one after another and then how smooth are we fading them in and now you will see something like this and it's beautiful as you can see working pretty nice out of the box so this is how that works and this is already pretty sweet but now we want to have a little bit more control so basically we want to have let's say one text and then once it's displayed we want to go to the other one or let's say it's typing in and you're a little bit impatient you're like like most players like just press the button so the whole text is being displayed you can also skip to the end of so the fully displayed text how can we do this kind of easy this is in a step event no worries there will be um yeah there will be a local import from my side you can just you know download it and use it and abuse it to your liking and um well so you don't have to follow it step by step so as you can see now i'm just checking for an input and if the input is true we're just checking two things first of all is the text fully displayed or is it not fully there so let's say it's not there how does it that get it so type is once again the variable we stored and then get state this is a scribble inbuilt thing a script and then it's just checking like hey what kind of number is it is it below one that means it's still typing stuff is it bigger or equal one that means it's finished so let's say it's not finished so this one here then we can say say typist dot skip then it will fully display or for example if you say typist dot reset it will reset it to zero so basically to the beginning so this is full and this is to reset to zero very important so let's say it's being fully displayed so it's uh, the has a value of one or higher then we can just say like hey uh, our text array which is this dude here we started at zero and we have an index number and then we just import the uh, uh, increased index from zero to one so we are displaying then this text here so we can just say something like hey array length so this will if this is true then cool we can have an index starting from zero going to one and then we reset it and then we display the other text but of course if we um well did all the text which we can have i don't know we just destroy it and then it's gone as you can see um that's pretty much it so let's say it's typing da -da -da -da, and i'm pressing like enter and then it's not doing it correctly why is that ah because i need to have index my bad because we are increasing this uh, index number so here first text and then the second one and then once we completely uh, went through all the text arrays then it's gone and this is pretty much it how it works pretty pretty easy can you do more yes so for example what you can do is not recommend it too much because i don't use it to be honest but you can do so let's say you want to have um you can recolor all the colors uh, so basically the whole text is being colored i don't know see black or see orange or whatever not recommended wouldn't do that it's better to uh, do that in the internal formatting here but of course you can do um i would just keep it as c white and then the well the alpha value when if you want to have some transparency for example for the text then you can globally put it at this one here so this is how you can do this or for example let's put it at 0 0.5 now it will look ugly as hell but it works so this is how you can do that but let's say you say like mm, but i want to use it for a draw gui event here it works a little bit different but it's not completely different but let's say for example we uh, let's get rid of that and just wrap it um if we do it like this here <laughs> draw gui is definitely a different piece so here you need to take into account how much you want to scale and therefore what i normally do for example for pre-formatting text like this i change the prefix a little bit so let's say for example our prefix is something like this but then i splice up the, the string the value so let's say 
four, something like this, I don't know. Then plus, and then close that dude. So as you can see, this is the same as here, but of course you can always input a different value depending on the width and the height of the monitor, which is then taken into account because while well, it's now a draw GUI event. And then, I don't know, we need to maybe make the image X scale a little bit bigger. So let's say you know, 40, go on and make this box a little bit bigger. So once again, here, this is up to you how you want to handle that. And then as you can see, bro, and here it's adapted. And one little thing, um, just to keep in mind, um, if the text box is smaller than the whole text, it will display it to the maximum and then it will stop. So you will have no spilling over text below it or to the right or whatever. Um, if the text is longer than the, well, the dimensions which you set up in advance. So hopefully this quick and dirty guide through that uh, was worth it because once again, I use it in all my project files. It's pretty powerful, pretty cool. The pre-formatting is extremely useful and it's really great to scale stuff, to format it, to give different colors to, did I show colors? So let's say see orange, let's go with a lime. And then of course close it. And for example, look at this. I do love it. So this is this is great. Or oh, I don't know, inputting. Did we use wobble? I guess we didn't use wobble. Wobble. <laughs> yeah. Let's see actually how that looks like. Oh, uh, one too much. Let's see how actually that looks like. So this is the wobble or for example, you want to have a delay. So let's say for example, hey, and then uh, you want to delay it. I don't know, with 900 milliseconds. So, hey, wait, wait, wait. And then the text is being displayed later on. So you can do some shenanigans, which is great. Then one last thing, which is a little bit odd, but let's say you want to have a manual line break for whatever reason. Um, then you can do something like this because uh, this works. It's actually written in the documentation of Juju Adams. So uh, <laughs> you change the alignment to the right and then to the left back, so which is the default one. And then what you will see is that there will be a line break here, a manual one. Oh, so let's try this again. So it's correct. So hey, as you can see, manual line break. And this is how you do that. So hopefully that was of interest to you. Once again, super powerful tool. I love it. It's really good. It's really great. It does a lot of work for you, especially typewriting stuff. And uh, once again, uh, you can find that stuff on at least the local import on my Discord channel. So you can get there and grab it and play around for free. Have a good one. One up indie.